you know, first month in the league, I think it's it's been a learning experience, that's for sure. Um, and you know, with a team like this, with young young players and vets, it was uh, easy to, to learn from them, to, to understand what they've gone through, and, and you know, realize how quickly to create chemistry. Mm -hmm. And um, you face like some pretty challenging, challenging uh, circumstances. What would you say is like your toughest challenge that you faced, and what have you learned from that? Um, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's individually in one game, but just the fact that you know, night in and night out, guarding mm -hmm. the best players in the world. You know, first game matched up with Candace Parker. Second game it was like Brittany Griner. Third game and so on. And you know, that's that's every night. Every team has a, a great player and to make sure that you're focused offensively and defensively. Morgan played pretty well against you tonight. Yeah, she did. Did you, I mean, you've played her against her in practice all the time. Did you expect that kind of effort from her tonight? I mean, that's what Morgan does. And, uh, you know, to, to see her play like that, obviously when you're on the other side, you know, you don't want that. But, you know, that's the kind of player she is. She's a versatile player. And, you know, when she, she gets comfortable in, in her setting, she knows what she can do. How about your slow start? What do you think caused it? You know, not getting any points until the third quarter there. I miss shots, and I don't. I mean, I don't know what it's trying to say. I miss shots. That happens. You have a lot of great memories in this arena. It was like coming back tonight and kind of being on the opposite side. I mean, you got a ovation right. when you came out there, but it's uh -huh. like I mean, you're obviously playing for the team that didn't see Connecticut on it. Right. Um. You know, I think that opportunity, especially come back in an arena that I played in, is is really cool. And, you know, there'll be more of that, but um, it was nice to, to get that, uh, the U content base. Um, excited to, to have me here. Are you maybe a little glad that the storyline will be over the return to Connecticut and you can just kind of keep going on with the season? Or? Um, I mean, it really wasn't a big deal. So, I mean, if you guys want to <laughs> try to say that that's why I missed shots, it's, it's not why I missed shots. I just missed. Um, I was happy to come home, you know, I haven't seen my family in months, so. How's your progression as a professional going? How would you say you're easing from the college game and being such a dominant player at the college level to finding your way in this league? How's that going for you so far? Um, I think it's going okay. I think that, you know, there's a lot of uh, learning curves. And, you know, obviously playing the, the most dominant school in the country uh, in college. It helps a lot, but there's still things that, that, that it, you can't do unless you're there. You know, you can't um, learn from unless you're here in the league. And, you know, just just realizing that and, and learning from it and, and also getting getting that chemistry with a, a new team. You know, I've been on the same team for, for four years, and now when you're, you're with people, with new players and that kind of stuff, you have to try and gel as quickly as you can. And today you talked about that on the conference call about team chemistry. Right. You feeling like it's coming along pretty easily for you? Um, I think that you know each day that we're together, uh, we're, we're continuing to build it. Off the court, you know, obviously that's that's easy, but um, on the court, just making sure that you know you understand the reads and that kind of stuff and what people like to do. And, uh, you're good enough. Thanks, Dave. Good luck. Thanks, Thanks Dave. You. See you. See you. Uh,